I am Muhammad Zaim Javed along with my group partner Muhammad Hasan we will today discuss Snort for Windows 10 Snort was launched in 1998 and it is currently being developed by Cisco its main purpose is network intrusion detection it works by actively monitoring network traffic and it passes through each packet to detect anomalous behavior or malicious payload found against the rules configured by the system administrator. The snort works in three modes. In sniffer mode, it captures the packets from network and displays them on the console. In packet logger mode, it logs the packet onto a file in the disk. In network intrusion detection system mode, it performs detection and analysis of network traffic. As it actively monitors network traffic, so it provides us the benefit of early detection of attacks such as port scanning. It is a free of cost tool. It is an open source tool and it is available across various platforms such as Windows, Linux, Mac OS and various flavors of Unix. We will download Snort 64-bit executable file for Windows 10 from snort.org website. After downloading Snort into our system, it says that it requires NPCAP for its successful functioning as shown in the figure. NPCAP can be downloaded from nmap.org's website. It has a very simple installation process. After downloading NPCAP, we will verify the installation of Snort through our command prompt. In the command prompt, we will enter into Snort folder. Then into its bin folder, we will write a command Snort-V. We will execute the command and after execution of the command, it can be seen that Snort is successfully running in our system. So now for the explanation of configuration steps and the practical demo i will hand over to my group partner mohammed hassan hi this is hassan so i'll give you a brief overview first in these slides um, then we'll move quickly towards the practical hands-on of the snort to get a better understanding so these are the configuration points uh, so first we have to download the snort.rules file from the snort's uh, official website and then we have to extract those folders and then some configuration changes have to be made in the snort.conf file so that is the file where we make all the configuration changes we make this not how we want it to work then we move towards the other steps of the configuration and you can see these are the uh, configuration commands that we have used to set up the IP and then the external net and then we refer to this blog that we have created ourselves this is the installation guide written by ourselves and then uh, we can refer to this uh, blog because there are 21 steps for configuration and involves and that get very complicated if we go dive deep, deep in that so um, these are the configuration test and validation command you can see snort v and snort w and then we'll see these command uh, this is for validating the configuration of snort after all the configuration changes have been made and then we'll look towards all these in the demo and going briefly these steps are the packet sniffing for uh, sniffing the tcp and udp packets and then you can see that there are uh, these use case this is our use case that we'll use that we'll detect the ping request from another machine and we'll also discuss and detect the port scan uh, request from another machine so the ping request sent by another machine is detected by snort this is our use case first and then the port scan request that is the passive attack done by an attacker from another machine will also detect that so we are running snort on host windows 10 machine and the attacker side is the Linux machine now we'll see how all the files are linked this is the snort rule file here we have configured all the rules that we'll be using and uh, the first rule that is this tcp and udp is for the alert generation and it's the packet sniffer rule that allows snort to uh, discover packet on the network and capture them and then we'll do look towards all the other rules that are being employed in this whole snort process this is the snort configuration file and here all the configurational changes are being made and we'll look deeper and more towards the rule files and we'll configure the snort accordingly so moving on let's first check how snort uh, detect packets of tcp and udp in the network so um, this is the snort command that we'll use to log all the packets that it captures to the console let's run the command and see how it works out so you can see that uh, snort has successfully uh, ran the command for packet sniffing 
and let's see how it sniffs the packet on the network so you can see uh, how snort has been able to detect all the packets in the network it can detect all the TCP and UDP packets we have configured the message request testing UDP and testing TCP and it's not as successfully detected all those these are the IP addresses that are going around and this is the whole process of packet capturing packet sniffing now we will use a uh, snort to detect the ICMP packets that it receives from another device more or less uh, it is uh, a command that is used to detect ping requests from another machine so basically this is the rule for snort to detect the ICMP packets and we'll uncomment this to be able to make it to detect the changes or uh, uh, so detect the pings okay now we'll use Kali Linux to send the ping request to the other uh, windows machine that has our snort host so we'll use this command some commands to check the ping detections first of all we'll use ping 192.168.100.26 to send the ping request and we will use a logging command to log the results of ping detection to the ping text file ping test file dot txt so this is the command we'll enter and see how snort detects the ping request let's execute it so now snort is uh, actually able to detect the ICMP request uh, let's run the ping command from the Kali Linux machine so now Kali Linux is pinging and let's check the ping request in the log folder so as you can see this is the log folder and it's able to detect the pings uh, from the Kali Linux machine as you can see that snort has been successfully able to log all the ping requests from the other machine uh, 100.33 to 100.26 these are the ping request being sent from Kali Linux to Windows 10 machine. Okay, now we are back to our local start rule file, and what we'll do is we'll see the port scan alert command. This is the port scan alert command that we'll use to check if someone is attempting a port scan on our host machine. So yes, let's jump onto the machine. So this is the port scan command that we will use to enter. And this time we will be logging our port scan detection request to the port scan.txt folder. Now let's run the command. So now uh, Snort has successfully reached the state where it can detect the port scan request from another machine. Now let's jump onto the other machine and like do the port scanning so that we can test if Snort is able to detect it or not. So this is the nmap and let's run the command nmap minus v minus sf the IP address of the machine that you are targeting and let's run the scan this is the port scan command so let's see if snort is able to detect it and we'll go to a log folder yes successful um, snort has been successfully able to detect the uh, port scan commands from the other machine so it's successfully detected all the nmap scan fan detected attempted leak information